Welcome to the iHouse Elite training video on TurboLeads email campaigns. The TurboLeads email campaign system is a great tool for automating email correspondence with clients in your TurboLeads CRM. Campaign emails are delivered via our MailChimp integration, so you do need to have an active MailChimp account in order to use the TurboLeads campaign system. Fortunately, MailChimp is free as long as you aren't planning on sending more than 12,000 emails per month. There is also a subscriber limit of 2,000 contacts with this plan. If you're going to exceed either of those limits, you may have to upgrade to a paid MailChimp plan, but most users can get by with the free version. In any case, linking MailChimp to your TurboLeads CRM is very easy. If you don't already have a MailChimp account, create one at MailChimp.com. The account creation process is straightforward. Just be sure to take note of your username and password because you will need those to configure the TurboLeads MailChimp integration. Once you have an active MailChimp account, it's time to link it to TurboLeads. Log into your iHouse Elite Administrator menu and navigate to your TurboLeads CRM. Click Settings, then click MailChimp Integration in the Account card at the top of the screen. You should have already created your MailChimp account, so let's proceed to Step 2, Link Your Account. Click Link MailChimp, enter your MailChimp username and password, and click Login. Your account is now linked. If you have multiple lists in your MailChimp account, you can choose which list to sync with TurboLeads here, but if you just created a brand new MailChimp account, you're only going to have one list available, which will be selected by default. Under the Advanced Sync heading, you have the option to sync your statuses and tags to MailChimp as list segments. This is for people who want to send emails to TurboLeads client segments via the MailChimp interface instead of the TurboLeads interface. We're happy to offer this as an option for the people that want it, but most people can ignore this section, especially if you're just getting started. Now that your MailChimp account is linked, you're ready to set up some campaigns. You'll find campaigns in your TurboLead settings interface in the Manage Defaults card. There are actually two sections here that relate to campaigns. The first is the Campaigns Manager, where you can manage campaign schedules and optional auto start triggers. The second is the Email Templates Manager, where you manage the messages that will be used by your campaigns. Add a new email template and it will become available for use in your Campaigns Manager. Your email templates are also available to use as form auto-responses, and you can even use them when you're composing an email manually through the Contacts interface. We have lots of default email templates available for use as is or to customize, or you can create a new one from scratch. Just give your template a name, give it a subject line, compose your message, and save. Note that you can use our macros to auto-populate the client's name in the greeting, or to inject your signature, as you see here. In fact, if you want to include your signature in an email template, a macro really is the best way to do it. This way, if you change your signature in the future, you don't have to go back and update all of your email templates. Your signature macro will insert whatever signature you have configured in your iHouse Web account profile. Signature and client name macros are the most commonly used macros, but we have quite a few others available. A full list of our supported macros can be found in our Help Center, and a direct link to that article is below in the video description. That covers email templates, so now let's look at the Campaigns Manager. Again, we do have a lot of default content here for you to use. For example, let's take a look at the General Buyer Info campaign. As you can see, this campaign will send an email called Types of Mortgages immediately after the campaign starts. The next day, it will send an email called Lender Information. One day later, it will send an email called All About Credit Scores. And on the last day of the campaign, it will send an email called Don't Forget About Closing Costs. If you'd like to read the content of these emails or make changes to them, just return to the email templates interface that we were looking at previously. If you think that sending an email every day is too often, you're welcome to change the delivery schedule and drip these out over a longer period. 
You can remove emails you don't like from the delivery schedule as well, or add new emails to the schedule. Your campaigns are completely customizable. Now let's look at the auto start triggers. Auto start triggers are used to automate your campaigns so that they begin all by themselves when certain conditions are met. Note that all of our default campaigns have auto start triggers turned off by default so you can rest assured that no campaigns are going to start without your knowledge. To turn on auto start triggers for your campaign, just check the box and start adding rules. I want this general buyer info campaign to start for any new lead that I tag as a buyer. So I'm going to select status is new and tag is buyer. Now, if you only have one rule, the any all setting doesn't matter. But if you have multiple rules, you should think carefully about this setting. In this example, I only want to start the campaign for new clients. If I tag a closed lead or a current client as a buyer, I don't want the campaign to start. And similarly, I only want the campaign to start for buyers. I don't want the campaign to start for new leads if they're sellers. Therefore, I need to specify that all conditions must be true. The lead has a new status and the lead is tagged as a buyer. Once you're happy with your changes, click save. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully your persistent emails with helpful information will help you start a dialogue with your leads. To see what campaigns are active for a particular lead, just pull up the contact in your CRM and take a look at the campaigns card. You can start and stop campaigns manually from here. And you can even send listing flyers for any of your featured listings using one of our four available flyer templates. That concludes this training video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact our elite service team at 866-645-7700.